Now, all new tonight on Eyewitness News. They just love my mom. They really did. And it really touches us. We're learning more about the victims killed in yesterday's fiery wreck on I-84 in East Hartford. Tonight, the family of the school bus driver killed says their mother, Verlene Douglas, was a special woman who would do anything for anyone. At this hour, the family is getting ready to attend a candlelight vigil to honor Verlene, who drove children on her school bus for more than 40 years. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Kevin Hogan is live with the Mobile Newsroom in East Hartford now with their story. Kevin, what a tragedy. Today. Oh, it is. Denise, you know, we're here at First Student uh, Bus Lot, and this is where Verlina Douglas has spent many, many years. She's been driving for more than 40 years. That's why you're going to have hundreds of bus drivers from throughout the region, throughout Connecticut here. And talking with her family earlier, they say their mother was special. She touched so many lives over her years that they're the ones who are blessed. She wanted to make sure the kids were safe. She was like, she broke the rules sometimes, but she loved the kids. Bus driver Verlene Douglas's family tells me their mother was special. The 67-year-old mother of three and grandmother would do anything they say for anybody in the 40-plus years driving generations of kids. She drove in Hartford, East Hartford, South Windsor, Avon, and most recently to New Hartford at 5 a.m. Monday. Daughter Leslie Douglas was on her way to work by I-84 and passed the crash site. I was on 84 and I was getting ready to go to work and I saw the accident. I'm like, ah, tell my mom, I'm like, ah, no. She's a good driver, and I get the call about 9.30, tell me that she was gone. Best recollection of my mom is her always cooking for us and um, always trying to keep the family tight and together. The family says their mom worked hard, getting up in the middle of the night to go to work and not come home till dusk. Her typical day is um, picking up uh, kids, dropping them off at uh, longer distances, and then uh, coming back to the bus yard to come back to take care of her uh, her grandchildren. State police tonight say Verlene Douglas's bus was behind two tractor trailers in the center lane of I-84 westbound when she was rear-ended by a tractor trailer that burst into flames. That driver, 52-year-old Norman Blair Bliss of Pennsylvania, also lost his life. Came out here, and that's when the state troopers were here, and then they told my grandmother. You said it's, it's surreal? Yeah, it's surreal. It's like a dream that you're never, ever, ever going to wake up from. The family tells me that they've gotten so many calls and condolences and emails and things that they are blessed. And this uh, vigil, which begins at 6 o'clock, is being sponsored by the Teamsters Union, which uh, Verlina belonged to for many, many years. By the Mobile Newsroom in East Hartford, Kevin Hogan, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.